Hi guys and welcome to another edition of the General Jerry channel. We got some breaking news right now. Um, so, uh, Damien Santo, a lot of you know him as Arn Rex, um, has quit TNA Impact. Um, he's pretty much walking away from it. There's also a possibility of him retiring. Um, he hasn't 100% retired yet. I just want to say that he hasn't 100% retired yet. But um, he's pretty much um, thinking of it um, and stuff like that. I also believe that he might be eyeing up maybe a return to WWE. I doubt it. Um, you know, we'll have to wait and see in terms of that. We're going to get into this story right now. Um, this comes from um, stillreeltous.com. Um, after taking a little bit of time away from wrestling, Damian Sando signed a deal with Impact Wrestling and he made his debut as Aaron Rex. As Aaron Rex, he won the Impact Grand Championship, but he wasn't seen at the last uh, set of tapings. It was reported at the time that he wasn't a part of the Impact tapings because he was filming a movie. But now it appears that he is officially done with the company completely. During a recent appearance at WrestleCon over the weekend, Damian Sando confirmed that he has parted ways with Impact Wrestling and he also noted that he's not sure if he's going to wrestle again. He said, and I quote, I don't know if this is going to be it for me because I'm no longer with Impact. Ending on this note is not a bad thing. I'm not saying I'm never going to get in the ring again, but this is pretty cool and I'd much rather people remember me for all the good stuff. I'm just um, happy it's been great and the fans are great and I've had an awesome career. So, the possibility of him retiring, it does sound like he wants to retire. Um, you know, when you look at Damien Sando, he was a very entertaining character. I know some people... Some people didn't like him. A lot of people did like him. I like the fact that no matter what he was put in, he actually put 100% in it. I, that I do absolutely appreciate. I do believe his Impact Wrestling run was a bit wasted because they had a they had him there that was actually quite popular in WWE and they really didn't really do anything with him. And th it really sums up what's going on in Impact right now because we're seeing a lot of wrestlers going into Impact and then they're immediately leaving. They're going into Impact and maybe leaving. I just hope Impact kind of um, work on their base wrestlers, like try and create their own homegrown talent so that they don't have to rely on, you know, people that leave other companies to come to Impact. Do you know what I mean? But that even being said, I think Damian Sando, I thought, was very, very talented. I felt his stunt double with The Miz, which sh could, like, you know, should have destroyed um, him, didn't. He actually did very well. And Impact, you know, WWE, should I say, threw everything at him to give him the worst gimmicks ever. But he actually made it work, and he's actually a really great talented guy um i hope he comes back to wwe um i don't know if he should go to nxt to be honest with you i think you know just do something with them um to be honest because i actually liked his promos um i, I especially like the promo he did against sheamus on smackdown it was very funny very hilarious um, and he is actually a funny guy, um, and uh, I, you know, I wish him all the best. If it is his official retirement, then I understand. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, guys. Um, if you want to see his full interview, which is on um, this one here, I've got a, a link to the interview, the full interview, in the description below. So if you want to check that out and uh, watch that, there you go. So guys, like, thank you so much for watching. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.